General Musharraf uh, was one of the most hated men in Pakistan today. People hold him responsible for getting us stuck in someone else's war, where today all along the western border, our own army is killing our own people. And there has been massive displacement of our people. Something like three to five million people have been displaced from their homes. Uh, he's been responsible for the slaughter of these people where there were women and children in the Red Mosque. He has been responsible for, for rather than giving the, their, the rights to the people of Balochistan by sending the army and ki killing the extrajudicial killing of Nawab Akbar Bukti and turning what was a movement for rights into an independent struggle now in Balochistan. Uh, apart from the fact that he has admitted on BBC that he violated the constitution of Pakistan. So therefore, uh, he is the most hated man in Pakistan and he is finally responsible for giving Asif Zardari amnesty from his corruption cases where, where a deal brokered by the Americans through the National Reconciliation Ordinance. So he has a lot to answer for and he's not going to go back because he is going to face uh, not only massive corruption cases, but a lot of people also will be going for him whose relatives have been murdered uh, through his policies. Well, you say that he won't go back. I'm just wondering where he will end up because Lord Nazir Ahmed uh, in Britain is trying to mount a legal action to have uh, Musharraf um, served with a writ for crimes against humanity or war crimes. There will be legal case, uh, 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 action against Musharraf because of crimes against humanity. I mean, he writes in his own book that he handed over 700 people to the United States uh, without following any due process of law. And he handed these people over for bounty. He took money from the Americans to hand 700 human beings who were not given their basic human right to prove their innocence in a court of law. One uh, prisoner of the Americans who I know you've been vocal about is Dr. Afia Siddiqui. What do you think um, his role was in her um, disappearance and uh, subsequent emergence last year in Afghanistan. Well, not just Dr. Afia Siddiqui, has a particularly tragic case because she disappeared with three of her children. The youngest one was one and a half years old. It is one of the most shameful chapters in the history of our country where our own agencies handed her over with her children to the Americans. But there were so many other tragic cases. There are women who've lost their, uh, who, whose husbands have disappeared, uh, uh, women whose sons have disappeared and all they are asking and I have protested with them and all they ask is their basic question that can they in a court of law know what crime the men have committed and General Musharraf is directly responsible for it and this current government is following every policy of General Musharraf uh, and that's why this government was brought into power.